Well, hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to possibly the unboxing of the best, number one, starter jet out there. That's up for opinion, but I think what's in this box is a fantastic way to get into the hobby. So stay tuned and we'll open this thing up. All right, so if you looked at the title, in this box is a Boomerang Ranger. So this also ties in to the series that I am have started putting videos into. So you wanna get into jet turbines or turbine jets or something like that. So great starter jet here, guys. This is something that if you're looking to get in the hobby, definitely uh, check the Boomerang Ranger out. Um, the customer we're building this for, Jurgen, uh, he is fairly new into the hobby. This is gonna be his first plane or first turbine plane. And uh, we're doing this as a plug and play build. So uh, it's gonna be a fun build. Now, yes, we've got lots of projects on the go. We're doing the unboxing today for this, but we won't be starting this project until the F-18 is complete. So without further ado, let's hop into this, uh, this box and take a look inside. All right, so I am overall very impressed with the size of the box. Uh, it's definitely a, a nice size box for the size of plane that's actually in here. So nice thick cardboard. I know that seems like a dumb thing to be excited about, but it is uh, nice stuff. And uh, we did order the bags with the kit as well too. So these are the bags that you can get from Boomerang Jets. And there is a link down below to the website for this aircraft. So nice bags, they're uh, decently priced and they've got uh, nice fuzzy stuff on the inside. So we've got our two wing bags and we've got two elevator or horizontal bags and the rudder bag. So nice set of bags for sure. So ultimately, Nice box, there's still a ton of space in this thing, which is very, very surprising. So we've got all the wings and the surfaces right here. I'm assuming the fuselage is just underneath. It looks like there's two pieces. Uh, we've got all of our parts right there, our wing tubes right there. So let's take a look at these parts one by one. All right. So the uh, surfaces are wrapped in bubble wrap, of course, and then they're wrapped in plastic as well, too. I'm going to leave these in the plastic, um, but if you can't tell, we've got the, uh, the snowbird scheme, which is, uh, is pretty slick. Me being in Canada, definitely a fan of this. So nice looking rudder here. We've got a nice big surface for access and uh, everything looks good. Nice covering job too. Yeah, great, that's, that's beautiful. So that's the rudder. We'll set that aside and continue working through this box. All right, so we've got the elevators or horizontal stabs in this box or this package. Okay, so again, wrapped in plastic wrap and nice surfaces. These are great. So our servo uh, hatches are hidden in between those two, but uh, really, really nice looking and very impressed. So I don't think any of the hinging's done on this plane yet. Haven't really taken a good look, but we can see our, uh, our control surface points and then our, uh, our hinges are all, yeah, it's definitely not hinged. They're all there, but we have to glue those hinges in. So nice, uh, nice looking elevator setup too. All right, so we've got our tubes and anti-rotation tubes. So this is a nice carbon fiber uh, setup on these tubes. And we've got some, it looks like anti-rotation tubes or something inside the main wing tube. So not a huge package, but uh, really nice to see carbon tubes on that. All right, and we've got our wings here as well. Very cool. The wings, actually, I'm gonna open the wings up. I'm excited to see the uh, 
the underside of the wings and what they look like. So beautiful looking scheme on this thing. It looks like the, uh, the decals, decals, are also clear coated on there, which is really nice to see. Actually, because these aren't, uh, aren't stuck together, I'm not gonna open this up, but uh, nice looking setup here. Our gear openings already cut out. Our servo hatches are already cut out. Nice big openings as well too, so no issues dealing with that stuff. Now, we do have the tip tanks here for this plane, and we do have a set of Sky Candy uh, tip lights that uh, are available on Sky Candy's website. Link down below to Sky Candy's website, and it's already a pre made kit. So you get the lights, the housings, all that stuff is already ready to put on this thing. So uh, we've, we've got that coming, it's not here yet but uh, by the time we start this aircraft build, we'll have those parts here. So uh, awesome, well let's set these things aside and we'll start getting into the other stuff. All right, so while we've got the box open here, we'll take a look at the other parts that we have. So the kit comes with two different wing tips. So this is the normal wing tips and then you've got the tip tank set up. So both of those options are included. In between those two tanks or two tips is the dash panel there, so you can kind of see that. Uh, so really nice to see those two different uh, different options, and it not being an extra item. Okay, we've got all of our mounts here. Uh, some of our servo mounts are already pre-done, which is great. So nice looking stuff. There's some G10 pieces in there as well too. Not entirely sure what those are for, but. We'll find out. And uh, we've got some servo hatches with some fasteners and already the holes in the servo hatch covers. Okay, so we've got our fuel tank and cool. This fuel tank comes, uh, so it's a Kevlar fuel tank, comes with a massive stopper already installed. Uh, so you don't have to do anything extra on that. Great job, Boomerang, that's, uh, that's awesome. And there's a bunch of fittings in there, like our clunk fitting, Festo line, or our uh, fuel line, sorry, not Festo line, Tigon line, and that's all in the package already. That's great. So it looks like our hardware package here, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, uh, control horn pieces, servo mounting pieces, everything's in that bag. And then we've got our gear bag. So the electric gear set that comes with this plane, it's the JP Hobby setup. So kind of a standard uh, retract setup. We'll open this up so you can take a look at it. So we've got wires, mounting parts and everything. Uh, this is the ER150 controller that comes with this. So it looks like the kind of a standard uh, standard, normal JP Hobby stuff. Very nice trailing link struts. So all named out with Boomerang Hobbies, uh, Boomerang RC Jet, sorry. So we've got 70 millimeter wheels. So essentially um, it's almost three inch wheels, two and three quarter inch wheels, but uh, great setup, nice, uh, nice little gear and uh, nice quality. So on an aircraft like this, beginner aircraft, it's really, and I say beginner, but I mean, you could be a seasoned pilot, fly one of these things and, and have tons of fun with it. But um, on a beginner plane like this, nice to have an electric system and nice to have everything included with the package as well too. So it's not a, not a huge expense over and above to, uh, to just get going. Okay, so we just took the packaging off the rest of the box here, and that is how we have the fuselage packed in there. So really nice setup. We've got our double layer of cardboard there and the fuselage all nice and tightly packed into place. Now the Boomerang Ranger is a fiberglass fuselage with wood everywhere else. So nice kit. I'm gonna put this box on the ground and we'll get this fuselage on the table and we'll take a better look at it outside of this box. All right, let's see if we can work some magic here. Ah, dang it, didn't work. Ah, maybe the third time. 
Oh, and that time it worked. Awesome. All right, so let's take a better look at these fuselage pieces here and see what, uh, what we got. Ooh, this is a really nice scheme. Really digging this scheme. Hard to tell from the pictures. It's always better once you see something like this in person. But very, very nice. All right, so we'll just take the pipe out here first. And let's take a look inside this fuselage. So, very nice paint job. Try and grab the reflections for you guys, but very, very nicely painted and uh, some really nice details on the snowbird scheme. Very nice, I like the black nose, it's a nice little touch. So just taking a look inside the fuselage here, we've got great glue joints from what I can see. And uh, yeah, just a nice, uh, nice layout here. It's nice to see the, the uh, wheel wells fully enclosed like that. Cool. Very nice. So, it, and it feels solid too. There's something about uh, a nice solid uh, feeling aircraft when you just pick it up and it's not flimsy and falling apart in your hands. So we've got a little bit of bumping on the, on the, Clear coat there, but nothing to be uh, to be overly concerned with. Take a look at our pipe here. All right, I just want to give a quick shout out before we talk about this pipe to all of you guys that have donated to the Shop Build Fund. Thank you so much for your donations. I truly appreciate it. Every donation, whether it's big or small, is going towards making the shop that much more awesome. So thank you guys and gals for your donations. I appreciate it and uh, thank you. This is a very impressive pipe for an aircraft of this price range. So comes with a really nice bell mouth. Uh, it's date stamped as well too, right there. Uh, but probably the most impressive thing is just the, it's very, very sturdy feeling and it feels like, like if you've ever felt a Carf Ultra Flash pipe, uh, really thick uh, internal pipe, that's what this feels like. Really nice quality and yeah, just a, a great quality pipe overall. Very impressive boomerang, very, very nice pipe for a plane like this. Okay, so we'll take apart the back section of the fuselage. All right, and there is the rear end of the fuselage. Really nice, uh, nice layout here. It's nice, nicely painted. Again, nice paint job. And we've got our canopy in there as well. There's no glass or no glass installed on the canopy right now. So it's hidden nicely in the back part of the fuselage. You can see there. So yeah, just a nice overall plane. Uh, this back end feels nice and strong as well. We've got, again, nice glue joints, carbon receiver pipes here, and uh, looks really good, really impressive. So canopy, I'm gonna leave wrapped up, but we've got the, uh, the cockpit tub already installed. Everything looks like it's ready to receive that glass that's in the back part of the fuselage. And it looks like that's already pre-cut, ready to go because it's got uh, silver on the outside, the band here. So really nice touches as well too. And uh, lots of support work all the way through the, uh, the canopy. And of course, nice big, canopy so you've got great access to all of the components in the aircraft well guys quick little unboxing video of the boomerang jets ranger aircraft i'm excited to put this one together um, i think it'll be a fairly quick build uh, this one is uh, it's going to be a nice layout on components as well too we are putting a swe win 120 in this aircraft and uh, it's going to be a, a just a phenomenal plane Really love the, the scheme on this thing as well. Uh, they did a great job. So again, links are down below guys to Boomerang Jets uh, for the Ranger. I'll link directly to the, uh, the Boomerang website and also Sky Candy landing lights for this aircraft as well too, which are, uh, are on route right now. So 
We're not gonna start this build for a little bit because we're gonna be completing the F-18, but when you see the next video for this aircraft, it's gonna be all the components that are going in this aircraft, and uh, it's gonna be a great, good quality, awesome flying aircraft. Uh, it's basically top notch for this, uh, this aircraft with components. So, so that's it for this quick unboxing video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Give the video a thumbs up and uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.